Hello everyone, welcome to my blog, this is Chris ICT and TV and this is Christian Arsavia. Today I will gonna show you on how to join and create classes using Google Classroom as effective way to let your students uh, to let your students join the class and you have to post assignments, post announcements, um, quizzes and so on. So this time have a good time listening and hope you will learn a lot of things. So today so we have here um, we just visit classroom.google.com and in that way I already have my classes here so this is Google Classroom so for you to as a, te as a, as a teacher if you are peers or or any so you have to click create classes if you are the the teacher or any um, the owner of the company and because you, you want to need to make sure that you want to do something like that uh, the, the best way as you as a teacher is it have to create classes for example we have like this let's continue and we have to put like this um, sample classroom section um, pandemic section COVID because we are really facing a pandemic right now the subject is science because always it could be part of the science and the room is the internet for example we can have it uh, we can have our own version of it we have great classes what is very important in google classroom is the classroom code this classroom code will really help the teacher to, to send this to the students for them to join the classes so as a student they will be going to join the classes because um they already have the meeting code, uh, the class code. This is the class code. So once you have the class code, you can already have the chance to join the classes that your teacher has been creating a classroom. So this time you will have to copy the classroom. You have to copy the classroom, and that is. So we have to, or either way, in other way around, we can also have this in copy invite. Uh, we have to invite, uh, for example. Um, someone that uh, we have but then just have to go na lang to, cop, uh, to copying the code uh, the code should be one two three four five six seven there should be seven characters in the classroom code and that will really help uh, see i am the, I'm the, I'm the teacher i still have, don't have the student so we will have to invite a student so how i'm going to invite a student uh, we have example um like this so i have to invite the student and invite so let me see uh with the use of the of the, uh, the other account let me uh, let us see if the the student will really join the class once uh he or she received the invitation link coming from the teacher and we should have to to go on with the the link has been um, sent to the student so I am now opening my own so see let's wait for a moment as I'm going to wait the, the student to join the class so I'm still using my phone the other account to, uh, as a student I am now a student in my phone and I am a teacher in my in my device so this time Let's have the go okay so i am now already part of the class this is the class already and i am the teacher here and the student here so the as a, that as the teacher and the, uh, she or she has the power to remove as the student is not part of the class can email the student regarding uh, something to do and the mute students uh, if they really wanted uh, if you don't want to, to receive that uh, the student with that something email that you have or in announcement so this time since you already have that in the google classroom so when we see it here you will see the people and this is now your classroom so you have classroom is here with a code and if you want also to post something like announcement here announcement um, there will be no class tomorrow due to mama mary's birthday my, my birthday no no 
Then for class tomorrow, as uh, in celebration to Nana Mary's birthday. Okay, so we have. So you can have it since since tomorrow is the, the celebration. You can have it uh, post it today. You have a schedule it to post. Uh, for example, in the evening or the afternoon, you can have the schedule. Uh, the schedule when we, when are you going to post this? It's all upon you. It all depends on you. And when, when are you going to post this? And since I have to post this, so that the student can read, they have to post. And if you want to add attachment, what is the source? What is the what, what is the file? What you want? Uh, what is your evidence that there is no class? If uh, if you have some link like a uh, uh, public app, you can add it here in a file. If you want um, so, as a be some videos for your class, uh, that they will have the, the the time to study. You can have it in had a uh, file, YouTube link, and Google Cloud. So you have we have to post it here. So the the student will be able to comment on that. So we will see the the comment of the student. If, if he or she receives the announcement posted by the teacher so let's see let's see this time if the uh, if there is really a comment coming from the student okay, the, the student already replied the post coming from the teacher so we have also here create you can also have the sign to create assignment you can put there the day, the score, and you have to assign when are you going to post it. Still, you can have the schedule if you want to make it early before that before your class will start. A question and everything topic you can have it here. You can also see the grades of the students who um, whom you were graded also. In this way, Google Classroom will really help you to ease uh, the burden paperless uh, because all the things that is needed to be submitted will be here in the Google classroom so so that's all so ho i hope you learn a lot of things here in the google classroom on how to join and create classes and how to see your student in people as you go along with this uh, thank you so much for listening and have a good day please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much